Yeah. Dina, how's your head? It hurts. <laughs> I'm making it through. I, and then I'm looking at those AI pictures and I'm like, wow, that, that's a stark difference, sis. <laughs> yeah, I said that last week, but here we are. Thank God for AI. Mm -hmm. Here we are. The way mm -hmm. of the future. Well, hello, everybody. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi, Chris. I love that little corduroy hat you got on there. Oh, it's good. Well, that's actually, it's, kind, it's not corduroy. The jeans are corduroy. I haven't worn corduroy in a long time. I love these, cords. It's like, it's like ribbed. This Wait is from my 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 uh, rag and bone collection. Uh -huh. I, remember I went shopping. A rag and bone cord. A rag and bone shirt. Ooh. Anywho. Ooh, we're out there, mm -hmm. cat daddy. We ain't mad at you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is so what's late. up, ladies? Are we good? Um... Here we are, another week, another episode of Married at First Sight, but week three, four, we get into the Married at First Sight. We got to talk about a hot topic. Okay. Hot uh, topic. <laughs> yeah, it's a hot topic. So um, I don't know what her name, a young mommy, 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 whatever. Marisha. Went online with Trina. And was, well, okay, let's do the backstory. I guess young mommy, mommy, mommy is dating Diddy, love, P. Diddy, Puff, Sean Combs. We'll just throw all the names out there. And she, I guess Trina has a little game. We got to incorporate this game in, but I don't want to, I don't want to put my, yeah, said, she's like, girl, uh, let's have a truth or dare or whatever truth and take a shot if it's the truth young mommy likes her golden showers Oop, that's what i'm gonna stop right there she says she, says she likes it what can you say i ain't got nothing to say to it really to each their own again yes to each their own but yeah. do, do, do they do you do it in the shower i would imagine you... i would i would hope that you would do it someplace where it's wet is not like a or, yeah a shower, shower or they do have um waterproof uh blankets and stuff um, yeah so yeah. i ain't never heard of no water i don't know I, but I, what, i've always wondered about that kind of stuff is how do you get how do you get to that what do you what do you how do you ask somebody to do that like and who's saying you know what I mean? Like, how does it, how does the conversation come up? It's like, you know, it'd be fun. <laughs> I mean, like, how do you, how do you approach from either angle, from the woman or the man, or the man or the woman? Like, you know what? What, what you shit on my chest? <laughs> I mean, like, how do, how do people it's come to conversations that are being had? Because there are people who like. Well, I know that's what I'm saying, but like, yeah. how do you? How would one start that conversation of like? You know what I was thinking? And then where does it stop? Yeah. Because when you start the conversation, it's like, maybe, okay, maybe you might be into it if somebody says, hey, let's, do, let's go take a shower together. It's sexy. It's it's invigorating. Okay, great. Then you bring in the whole, oh, I got to pee. Let me pee on you. And then... Where does it go? Because where are you peeing? Because don't, mm, nowhere near here. And I just don't want you, no, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to be a prude on this one. And I'm not a prude, but that whole pissing in the shower, golden shower shit is not for me. Period. End of story. No. But I think they, they say like, like um, big stars are, like Eddie Murphy has some questionable thing. You remember he got caught with that that woman, man. Yeah, I don't know who. Yeah. Well, the you can't. You know, that's not. The, yeah. That's back not. That's not a proper term. Right. Yeah, back in the day, it was transvestite. Uh, yeah, it's not a proper term. Transvestite is, huh? It's not a proper it's term. Cross, cross dress. 
No, it's, it's not a proper exactly. term today, but back right. then, when Eddie Murphy. Well, was so we're it. gonna call it. We're gonna call it the term that it was when Eddie Murphy got busted with the transvestite. Right. It is what it is. I, I can so call I'm it saying, the proper I, term. I just didn't know that that wasn't on the table anymore. What's the new word yeah. on the table? Trans- I think a cross-dresser, maybe. Trans. No, not transsexual. No, well, transsexual is is it. Transvestite means vest, vest as in as in clothing from the Latin word vest, vestitus or whatever, which means so changing of like clothing. Drag queen? Isn't the same? Yes, as drag? but but transsexual is actual wanting to be a woman or wanting to be a man. Okay. Not a woman. But like- trans transvestite was considered just cross dressing. Just cross. You can be a man and attract the women, but you just like wearing and women's clothes. That's, just the like same, clothes. that's the same as a drag queen. No, a drag it's queen not is a someone drag who. Queen. A drag who, queen is a performer. No, someone, yeah, a performer who's dressing up and putting makeup on and trying to look as much like a woman as possible. A transvestite just may like having women's clothes on and be oh. completely straight and, yeah, be completely yeah, straight. I and, better. Yeah. I don't okay. know. Any better. Okay. Well, I'm sure I'll find some, I'll find find the proper terminologies for us. Um, you know, yeah, there's too many terms. Are you saying that there are many celebrities that have like certain kinks? Yeah, certain you know kinks, and this, it, once you get to a certain level, if you can have any woman or any man that you want, I guess it could get boring. Maybe, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So why not? You know, with the Will Smith Jada Pinkett thing, and you know people. Jamie Foxx is rumored. It's you know, I know something. Not, there's all Jamie these Fox's all rumors. rumors what? and what? What's the rumor? He's had to, some some, you know, proclivities. I've just rumors. Oh, okay. No. But right, anyway, so- you get to a certain okay. level, and I'm saying so. Like maybe maybe that's something new and exciting for people who are like, oh, you know, I've done this, that, and the other. Let me try. Um, let me try doing this. I mean, like. About- a- with I don't know if it's, it's new and exciting. Let me try it. I've, I'm this type of way. I mean, this is a whole nother podcast that we have to talk about because I'm like, if I am this type of way, like. Maybe geez, you don't know if you like being peed on. Well, I don't want to be peed on. I already know that. Yeah, but maybe, but but maybe, but, but if you don't, if you didn't try, maybe you wouldn't, you know. I don't want to. No, that's I know not you. Like- I'm just saying in general, if people are open to something like that, they can be like, well, I've never tried that. Maybe I like it, maybe I wouldn't like it. I, I don't know. Be, okay. I, <clears throat> I don't want to be peed on anybody listening. Just don't want to be peed on. But <laughs> I will say that I think I would take that over you wanting me to eat your ass. Oh, because that's a whole, yeah. that's a whole new. That's, that's a whole nother topic, Shahida. No, it's I'm not. Sorry. No, it's I'd not. Rather, not really, no. You're not. in the shower and you and I can, I think I could maybe handle that. I cannot handle my tongue in your asshole. That's an absolute yeah. never, ever, 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 ever will happen. All I'm going to say is this. The only time I want somebody to pee on me is if I get stung by a jellyfish. Because P, obviously, let's get physical about it. I don't think it's as bad as shit. That's I'm a sorry. myth. When, when you pee, That's a myth, though. When you, when you pee, it's sterile. When it comes out, it's sterile. So if you get stung by a jellyfish or a bit, you get, I, I might be wrong, but I know I'm right with the jellyfish. But like with snake I, I know that's just, your, gate, that's just your, your gateway to pee, being peed on. That's your excuse. You know what? I got stung by a jellyfish. Can you yes, um just pee on me for a second? Um, Tony, there's, there's no there's no jellyfishes around. Yeah, but it feels like I got sung by a jellyfish. Could you pee on my leg? Right here. But um, yeah, I'm done with that. Um, okay, let's go. All right, let's go into married at first sight because that's a whole that. Show. There is no truth to the myth that peeing on a jellyfish thing can make it feel better. It simply doesn't doesn't work. I thought it was so, on a jellyfish no. thing. Like, no. Should you? Life. No. Despite what you may have heard, it's a myth. One of the well, possible reasons that this myth became popular could be due to the fact that the urine contains compounds like ammonia and urea. 
No. So do not be. I've watched too many episodes of Survivor, and here we are. So anyway. They pee on each other on Survivor? I guess. Do they? A survivor with the jellyfish things and all that shit. Anyway, we're over there. They were peeing we're about a survivor on they other were peeing people. on each other? Oh, yeah, they were peeing on each other. I saw a couple of episodes where somebody got stung by a jellyfish and the producers was like, "Somebody, does somebody have to pee? Pee on the wound. And they literally was like pissing on the they wound. Set those folks up. <laughs> they set them up to get pissed on like R. Kelly. I want to piss on it. Oh my God. That's a perfect ending. I'm gonna, I wanna pee on you. I'm gonna pee on you. All right, anyway. All right, go ahead, girl. Just look it up. Um, but in the meantime, gonna... oof, Married at First Sight Nashville. And oh. what can I say? When I say to you guys, I only have five bullet points of notes that oh. I took. I didn't take a lot of notes because I was sitting there watching the episode and I was just like, Maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll get better. Boring. So who are we going to start with? Boring. Let's start with. I thought it was like any other. Yeah. Any other one. Who? I just thought it was like any other show that we've watched before and not boring. It's just too long. They're just too long. long. They're way too long. Let's start with the two couples that got married. That we left off. Eris and Jasmine. Eris and Jasmine Aris. and Dominique and McKinley. So let's start with Eris and Jasmine. They both looked genuinely happy when they saw each other. I mean, he, he was like this. He, he went like, like this. Woo! Woo! Oh, he applauded. He was like, he was like. But, but she was his height or taller than, you know, she had heels on. She had heels. So. They're about the same height, so she's probably like five six, and he's probably about five ten. You know what I mean? Five nine, five ten. She's about five six. Yeah, he looked intimidated when when she walked out, and he oh, obviously he was happy. And then when they well, started the whole uh, ceremony, he looked a little intimidated. But well, you know, I'm always curious, curious on what where you are finding <laughs> these small quirks that. I have no idea. He did not look intimidated at all. I mean, he looked very happy. He looked content. Yeah. He looked relaxed, actually. Intimidated. I don't know, intimidated. I, I don't think he looked intimidated at all. He, he wasn't like, I can't measure up. Her. To me, he looked a little intimidated at the wedding. Once they got face to face, here's a couple of things. Neither one of them made eye contact with each other, which was a little weird to me. Because I'm like, you know, this you're marrying a complete stranger. If you look at Jasmine, mostly Jasmine, Jasmine was not making any, I mean, she saw him. She was obviously happy with him. But she didn't make any eye contact with him at all during the ceremony. Mm-hmm. He looked a little intimidated. When I say intimidated, that might be the wrong word to use but I'm using it when she showed up and he's like, Oh, you're taller than me. And he was looking at her the whole time during the ceremony. And I was like, maybe he's a little intimidated by her, like with her looks and her height and everything. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I didn't, I didn't see that. I I didn't get that at all. Yeah. I mean, even the eye contact thing, I, I felt that they met, I mean that they had, you know, normal eye contact for somebody that you you're just trying you're to stare at and don't want to, and you kind of like pull it right. so it was like sneak peeks. I didn't see it as like you know, oh no, um, real eye contact. And when they were sitting down talking together, they were looking at each other. They had eye contact. Yeah, then. yeah. I was talking I about those damn dogs. I was focusing on the wedding ceremony where mm-hmm. the eye contact wasn't there. Yeah, but he After. came. He was like, he was like, he was clapping his hands. He was, he was excited. I thought it was more excited than intimidating. I think I'm gonna jump just a tiny bit ahead. I don't know why they didn't hook her up with someone who loved animals as much as he does. That's a huge. 
huge sacrifice for some. I like animals. I can deal with a dog. I can deal with a cat. I cannot deal with four. And and four, then the breeding, puppies, huh? Wait a minute. Not and then the breeding part. You're dealing nine. with fucking like nine to ten nine. dogs. Yeah, no, we're good. And here. he was not pleased, and I don't blame him. I mean. You you typically would when it comes to animals specifically, the other person has to be just as into animals as that other person. You can't. It's it's not a good mix in my opinion. Four dogs she has. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. A lot. Yeah, that that's that's yeah. So that's that was tough. that was one of the things I said. Did you see her mama's dress? The big pink, no. I did the big pink chiffon shit. And she, I, was like, I was thinking about you when I watched it because I said, okay, she came to BC. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about her mom and her dress. Her mom is a cancer survivor. So her mom is showing up and showing out. That's what I'm saying. It is what it is. But can we, I think we talked about it last week, so I'm not going to put a lot of stress in this. With his, Aris's cousin, Felina, or whatever her name is. Whatever. Yeah, that was shady on her, you know. Well, just like in the after party, in the after party, they talked about, um, like, she ain't, she ain't getting an invite. Who is it? Uh, uh, Shaquille yeah. was like, I wouldn't have even invited her. If she's not going to be there to support you and celebrate the fact this was happening, then don't invite her because she was all negative. Nelly. And I'm trying to figure out why she's, it's one thing to, to voice your opinion, right? to voice your opinion and say, look, I'm concerned. Yeah. I don't know about this. I don't think you're ready, blah, blah, blah. But you don't beat it down to the point of like, now you're being kind of like, there's, there's something beneath it. This to me, it seems more vindictive when it's just like, I don't know if they played that up. With her, you know, if the producers played that up, but it seemed a little bit vindictive after a while. Cause she, she was like, I just don't like so and so. He's not ready. You know, this is this up. Uh, he's, I was like, okay. All right. Well, it wasn't like she didn't like so and so. She just didn't like the situation. Like she, and I kind of get where she's coming from. That's her cousin. She knows him. They they are close, and she knows his history, so I can see where she's like, "Don't do this," and then showing sure. up the wedding, and then showing up at the wedding and saying, "You got time," be like, "If you don't want to do this, like we're at the last possible minute. If you don't want to do this, let's. I'll walk out. I'll walk out with you right now." It's kind of too late for him to do that, and I understand you voicing your opinion. But after you've done that, and he said, no, this is what I want to do, then leave it alone. Leave it alone. He's going to do what he's going to do. He's got a whole TV production waiting on him. If he wants to leave, he'll leave on his own. Nothing that she's going to say is going to make him leave, unless it was a you know, long-lost love who came up and said, don't get married or something like that. But True. in this case, she needed to my like, she said me. what she needed to say. My mother told me the same thing on my wedding day in the morning of... You don't have to do this. I said, no, I got this. I'm um, trust me. I know what I'm doing. Okay. This, um, go on. But as for her, I think, but just like my mother, you have to let it go. You have to embrace the person coming into the to the and I always say when it comes to marriage, the most important element of it is family support. You yeah. know, so you you at that point, you have to support it. I didn't like her conversation with Jasmine. Um, I thought she could have been a little bit more positive at that point. And yeah, I understand that, like, you know, you're trying to figure out why she's doing this or, or whatever. And you're probably told to, to to stick some questions out there. That's but true. That's at true. At the end of the day, I don't, um, I hope that she gets better as time goes on. I understand you love your cousin, but. But I get, I get where she was coming from because she made it very clear. She's like, she's a pageant girl. She's in this pageant world and they are trained and conditioned 
to I would have answered the same way thing. though. That's exactly. Right. Yeah be married she wants to be married right. from the even right. in her interviews that's basically what she has been saying i i find out of everybody she's one of the most sincere about wanting to be married yes I agree and, and it's you. one thing and it's one go ahead and it's go ahead. one thing to to have your doubts about it and say he, to him he's not ready but you don't even you don't even know her you're just meeting her and instead of being so like, you know, she's pageant, you know, she has all her answers ready. She already had an attitude as opposed to, let me see what this woman's about. And this woman could be good for my cousin. Mm -hmm. Let me, let me, let me give her a, a chance. At least she was giving her no chance. And in the after party afterwards, uh, Jasmine said she didn't even realize that she was like that. She, she didn't realize how negative she was until she, she watched her be negative to him before the for the thing and the shade that she had about it. So that's duplicitous as well. Because if you if she had said, look, you know, this is my cousin and I'm a look just like, you know, the the, the three girls who who were grilling someone was grilling some they were grilling Shaquille. Remember Shaquille. they were grilling Shaquille? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They were Her grilling him about stuff and he was like, okay. Yeah. But she they're all like, you know, I don't know who you are, this I mean for that sake, but she seemed to have a little extra Venom towards towards the girl for some reason, and then it was kind of duplicitous about the whole thing of like, you know, acting like acting this way and but you know being shady behind her back. Anyway, so we'll see. Well, we'll I see like the works. fact that you know, even though I brought up the whole pageant queen thing, I like the fact that Aris's mother, even though his cousin wasn't feeling it, Aris's mother was like. Like she, it, it looks came like to party. she likes her. Huh? I said she came to party at the, at the reception. <laughs> they had but a good Aris time. Eris's mother looks sincere. So I am curious to think, I'm, I'm curious as to how this is going to play out because Aris has made it very clear that he is, he's a only child. And he likes his space. He's never lived with anybody. He's not communicative. I think that the whole communication thing, because even at the friggin' reception, she's asking him questions and he's just talking to her. He was more, I mean, I get it. Cause I'd be the same way too. I like animals too, but all them goddamn dogs and all that breeding shit, I'd be like, mm, I don't need all that shit in my personal space. So I'm with, I'm with Aris on that. But I just think that it's it's going to take her. She's going to need to put in a lot of effort to reel him in and get his emotions out and have communicative conversations with him. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if he's he's ready either. Kind of now, I, you know. I, feel it. I don't like it when men, specifically black men don't open their mouths when they speak and don't enunciate. And it's like, he seemed bored, like with the conversation, like, you know, mm. and just looking straight ahead and just not really open, being open. So maybe- But he's not very expressive in the first part. In the first, no, yeah. he's like, everything's no. like this. And he's like, yeah. You know, he's just like, you know, he has dead eyes too. His That's eyes true. never like, yeah. look through this. He That's has dead true. eyes, so. You know, he's always kind of like this. So, you know, even if he's excited, he's like, yeah, I'm really excited. And if he's upset, like, man, I'm really upset. You know, he, <laughs> he, his eyes are never changing. Man, I, I hate you, man. Man, you would look so good. Man, I love you so much. Oh my man, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I care with you right now. You This is what that, is, that is. He does have that. He doesn't. Yeah. yeah right. So, like so really bored with the conversation. I, I don't know. It just didn't open up his mind. Like Shaquille, you know, he's expressive and you see it all over his face. I, I like Shaquille. All right. So let's go into Shaquille and Kirsten because all I saw with that is the friggin'. Oh, before we jump to them, though, I do not think these two are going to make it at all. Jasmine and Aris. Oh, I'm, I'm going to stick with my guns. Yeah. I don't think anybody's going to Okay. Make it. All right. So uh, go for the back. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Have you changed your no, I, I think, yeah. I don't, I don't, it doesn't look good. It, it doesn't, doesn't look, look good. Put that way. 
Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna make it. So let's jump to too many dogs. First, Kirsten and Shaquille, because when I watched their reception, I was I was like, is this San Diego all over again with Justin and Alexis when they did the whole? Okay, first of all. I'm just going to put my personal preferences out there. I think that the whole throwing the bouquet, getting the garter, and doing all that shit is just weird and creepy to me. I, I've never liked it in wedding ceremonies. I never have. I never will. So here we are. So Shaquille unleashed his inner Justin with his old. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and got up under that dress, got the garter, and then took it a step further and started dry humping her in the seat. In the, dr in the I, dress. That surprised me. That surprised me. It surprised he seemed, me. He seemed, I was like, oh, 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 okay, Shaquille. All right, I see what you're trying to. But he did, you're like, you're not, you ain't, ain't going you ain't gonna kiss me at the altar? What? You ain't gonna kiss me at the altar? You gonna kiss me at the altar? <laughs> exactly. And the fact that she allowed that, but wouldn't take his. She was smiling and, and unless he asked for it. Unless he asked for it. She was she she him if he asked her. on that one. I'm glad he did it because regardless of what she wants, he's gonna still do what he wants to do. Yeah, but because I'm she's sorry. so resistant. She's so resistant to everything else, you know, about the but kissing and stuff like that. Game. She's playing a game, a role. Like yeah. he, when he said, oh, my wife, she's so virtuous. Where do you see that, sir? Where? She, she well, just well, the fact that she didn't want to kiss. Yeah. She just he was trying to come up with some kind of excuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was trying to come up with some excuse that he got rejected. But he did say, he said, you know, um, my wife is so virtuous and I virtuous. I don't understand what the kiss was about, but I know it has to be something deeper. So he probably right. felt a tinge of that rejection that she was throwing out there. I but they did, told yes, he him, did. They told they showed it to him on the after party that she said all he had to do was ask my permission. And um Jasmine and McKinley was like. Well, I don't see why he would have to ask your permission because you're marrying him. I'm like, you signed up for this. Right. Why are you now? Why all of a, all of a sudden are you you're picking and choosing? If you sign up to marry a stranger at first sight, then why are you getting in your feelings about I'm not going to kiss you unless unless he asks me to kiss him, which leads me to believe that this is another marriage that isn't going to work. Because I don't think that Kirsten is attracted to Shaquille at all. Period. No. End of story. She What's wants it? He's got he's got everything that she needs. And she said that. She said she, that. She, she yep. said that. She, she acknowledged everything that, that she a, wants. A guy for her. But he is not giving it to her. He's not. Yeah, she's not feeling it. And again, this is why women are single because you want too much you, well, you got women. everything right don't here women. it's huh? women too it's what? not to say women just why women are single it's uh -huh. men it's too. everybody it's men and women so let me do this okay let me rewind y'all want too much this is why i'm out of the game i'm out of the dating game y'all want too much you want all this Women, y'all want all this, men. Chris, look at me. It ain't coming to the table. Look at me, Chris. She mm -hmm. want to be in that game so bad. She ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> I do, and that's why I say this, and that's why I'm so combative about it because I do want to be in this game. But at the end of the day, I don't have the energy to be in this game. To I could bring everything to the table, like Shaquille. The education, the job, the money, the house, the everything. And it's still not because my hair may not be long enough to you. My skin may not be dark enough. Yeah, to but you. that's that's I'm just a, soci not, a societal I'm thing. Done. I'm not done. My height may not be tall enough for you. My shit, nothing. 
So here we are. So now you want to really nitpick? What the fuck do you want, Kirsten? And men that might want to be interested in me. But I'm not good enough for you because I'm not your fucking type. So go fuck yourselves, everybody. And on that note, pop of my edible. <laughs> and so what were you going to say, sir? So no, I was just going to say, I think that's, I think it may be just people in general are, because there's always something else out there. There's always something better. There's something more or whatever. But if you go, I'm telling you, if you go on a show like this, where you give it up to the experts and this and the other, then don't do it if you're not going to accept what they give you. Don't do it. Just like, what's her name? The, the, the girl, the girl, the rude girl, remember the dude for, with Chris, the real estate dude last year, uh, the girl from Texas. Two years ago, Lisa, if you know you won't get someone that's not your physical type, at least be nice of it. Then don't do it. If you know there's a risk that he's not going to be exact, no one is going to get exactly what they want and looks wise. You may get height, but you may not get, oh, she, Kiss is talking about, oh, he ha he's bald. Oh, I, when I first saw him, he didn't have hair. I was like, oh, no. I was like, you know what, girl? You lucky that you have anybody trying to talk to you because And she's 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 a good looking woman, no doubt. Yes, she is. Like, that's, that's, mm -hmm. that's not everything. <laughs> What's the saying behind every good looking woman is a man I'm sick of her shit? <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm just saying she's a good looking woman. And I was starting to think that maybe she would get over that hump because if you do have a person that is just perfect for you on paper and she acknowledges that, that eventually you can get to that point because you're looking at the bigger picture. I'm hoping that she's mature enough to look at the bigger picture, but I don't think so. No. I don't think she'll get past it. I think that she'll continue. And, and, and to me, look at him. He's not only good on paper, but then he's fun too. He's, you know, he communicates well. I mean, for a, for a black man, I mean, he got he has everything. Because I want a man, too, that, like, okay, great on paper, but I want to be able to go out and have a good time with you, too. He's not stiff. Nope. No. I don't know. I, and, and here's the loss. I'm not, I'm not, like, Shaq is not necessarily my type. No. That I would look at, but he checks off everything like i'm like kirsten like he checks off everything that i want as far as education as far as his career as far as his well, i don't care about the whole church religion thing i'm just sorry, sorry yeah, that would be the only turn sorry, off I'm, sorry all of our religious people that are on that i'm not that i person. would be out i don't care about all that all i care oh, really? about is <laughs> you said it. Yeah. I'm just, I'm like, he checks off everything on the list with the exception of the whole religion thing. And his, he has potential. He's not, I could meet, I could walk by him on the street and be like, walk right by him and not be attracted to him. But if I was paired with him on this show, I might look at him and be like, yeah, okay, well, that's not going to, yeah, he's not my type. But once I got to talk to him and saw what he was bringing to the table, oh, for exactly. me, your brain, your communication, your independence, for me, that is sexy as hell. I'm good. We good. We'll make this work. She's not going to get able to get over it. He hasn't met anybody in the education setting that he's in. Because as a co-worker, I can see, you know, you're working with him. I mean, there's like people I've worked with that I've never attracted to. But as you start working with them and you and, and you have the same kind of interest, he, he'll get snatched up. How old is he again? 30, 30, 33, 32, 33? 33, yeah. And she's 32, he's 33, something like that? Well, this is why... I, the, our our first initial podcast on this, I was leaning towards the whole down low brother thing because I was like, "How is this man not being scooped up?" I thought he was gay. I told y'all that. 
Well, you just can't because say he's, that. he's not scooped up. Yeah, just because he's not scooped up, he's young, yeah. only thirty-two. He, he's traveled. He he just moved to Nashville a little while ago, so yeah, he's been he's traveling and. Tra- yeah, but he's looking for this life, and I'm like, how are you not finding that? And that's why I said that the last time. Because I was he's like, just he's, he's in a school. He's, he's got other priorities right now. And we don't that was know his how many other priorities. Where he wanted to be married. He could have been fucking around all his 20s. But I think it's more like he was just more um into education and building up who he is. Could be. But I don't think she's gonna give him a chance. I don't think so either. I don't think anybody I, has again, any that's another him. couple that isn't gonna work for me in my playbook. She's never going to be attracted to him. I think it's going to be a nope. Karen Miles situation where she's going to look at him. She's going to do what she needs to do to get through this show. And then she's, you know, because we've all seen, I mean, I watched it. We've all seen the, pre- well, I don't know about you two, but I watched the whole thing. I did. Preview. I watched it. I had to watch it. I watched the previews. And I'm like, Okay, so she, now she's officially kissing him in the mouth and swapping. Oh. She's swapping fruit and whipped cream in the mouth with each other. So I'm like, okay, now she's kissing him. Okay. But I'm like, that's honeymoon shit. Oh, maybe it is, maybe it ain't. But I'm like, she's not attracted to him physically. They're not going to consummate that marriage. And I guarantee you, my personal opinion, decision day, not gonna, not gonna happen. Yeah, I don't think it will. So who's next? Uh, the next one. Let's go to. Oh, well, the next married couple. The one we did. Right. There's two married couples. Oh, no, no, Aris, no, 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 um, McKinley, and Dominique. Do- Dominique and Dominique. Dominique. That's the other married couple that just got married. That ain't gonna work at all. Did you and see so the I previews? Did. Have oh, you watched I the previews? See, yeah, it was, it was, I, I was, when she's carrying her stuff, crying, walking out. and when he, when he says, oh, you need to, you need to change, you need to grow up. And she's like, he's like, no, you need to, I was like, oh, that's, ooh. he's like, yeah, you need that. You need to, you should change. You need to change. I was like, oh. And when Pastor Cal had them both sitting on the couch and he said to them both, so you both lied to us. You both lied. So I, oh, I didn't see that part. Oh, I saw that. I saw that one. It was like, he's like, so you both lied. And the two of them were sitting on the couch and he's like, Pastor Cal was like, so you both lied. And I'm like, what's the fucking lie? Who the fuck? Which one of you motherfuckers lied about what? I don't get why they picked this woman saying that she's an old soul. No, she has the, the mind and the thinking of a 13 year old girl. That part. There is nothing mature of anything that she says. I haven't, I haven't seen anything so far in her demeanor that would make me think that this woman not is her sincere. friends, not her mama, not her grandmama. Let's she just call is. a spade a spade. All of them is in them streets. It's, it's not. It's not even about being in the streets. It's about her mind, her mental. Yeah, she's uh, too young. She's, she's twenty five. But no, she she's twenty five. She acts like she's twenty. Yeah, I know. So well, actually, right. she's twenty five, and she acts like because that's how twenty five year olds act now. Excuse me, twenty five year olds, but that's how you act as if a grown Gen Z person was twelve. Okay, there's no way. There's it's like like when people say they don't recognize somebody's age, or they thought they were older. With it, no, you didn't. Because if you talk to an 18-year-old girl, she sounds like a fucking 18-year-old girl. You talk to a 25-year-old woman and you're almost 40, that's a 25-year-old woman. There is no calm, real common ground there unless you want it to be. And it's usually yeah. in the bedroom in your money. That's it. That's the common ground. Okay. So all I'm going to say is I was online today and I was looking Uh-oh. at the thread of the rumors. So rumor has it is that McKinley, he said he was, he moved to Tennessee and staying at his man friend's house 
I thought it was a girl. Parents' house. His, parents his, house. Man friend's, his man friend's parents' house. No, his best it's friend's his, parents' house. But it's a girl. Listen to me. The rumor on the street is that the house that he's staying at is his ex-girlfriend's parents' house. Okay. In Tennessee. But it's not that's his, one that he said that his man's friend's, friend's house. It's not his man best, best friend's house. It's not his girl best friend's house. It's his ex-girlfriend's parents' house. That's a rumor, and it might be false. So I'm just saying. Because I think I thought he said to her he was staying at his best friend's friends parent house. It's a woman. It is a woman. And he was like, she was one of my best men. And you saw her. So well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. we'll see. I don't it don't matter because at the end of the day, they're not the great vibes from him either. Hey, here's, here's the question though. Huh? What the, why would the mother? Why would the mother put her in this situation? I said that why last. The mother. <clears throat> yeah, I know, but I'm saying, but, but going, bringing, coming back to your point, Chihita, she's too young. Why? Why would? Why was at twenty five? Why are you gonna put your daughter in a situation like that? Why? Why would you do that? Sign your daughter up for that, unless you thought she was ready. Did you really think she was ready? Honestly. Like, as a mother, did you really think you're a 25-year-old girl? Or did she just want her married? And that, I don't know. Really? Because she doesn't seem mature enough. I don't know. She wants grandbabies. She made it very clear in the episode. I need you to be married. And they, they that, that was the episode the other night with the wedding. When so the mother was like, married. I need you to make me some grandbabies. And Dominique was like, and, and the mother was like, within a year. And Dominique was like, three years. We'll do three years. Three years. And mama was not happy about that. I want. I don't want to be old having grandbabies. And I'm like, honey, your child is 25 years old. I'm doing the math. So basically, I'm older than Dominique's mother at this point. Or maybe the same age as Dominique's mother. And I'm like... Yeah, I'm good. That makes no sense. You push her into a marriage to have children with somebody that she doesn't know or took the time to know so that more than likely your grandchildren are going to come from a broken home. So none of this was thought or planned out. If you want some damn children from a, a broken um, home, then just let her have some children with her boyfriend. If or just let her go to a sperm bank and get pregnant. Do it without involving people's emotions in this. Go to a sperm bank and have a baby, period. But can I just say one thing about him? And I know people Please. are kind of liking him. I said it from the very beginning. There's something very suspect about him to me. Mm -hmm. And mm. it goes back to that fucking story that he keeps telling about the girl who he was... That does not... If it's true, then you are not in a relationship. You have checked out. You're not paying attention to cues. You're either selfish. Right. Not cues, but ma major cues. Major There's things. not right about that story at all. And why would you make the whole story about you moving to Tennessee to find the love of your life? Again, after such that's a breakup, a after a breakup, that's like that, like I'm not. Listen, we've all had our hearts broken. We've all had divorces, or well, not all of us, but we've had. We most of us have gone to through divorces and major tragedies and shit. Is that going to make me fucking want to pack up everything and move to another city and state? No. And live in another house that I can't, I, I, I can't afford to live in your state. So I'm going to stay with my friends, my ex-boyfriend's parents' house. Because I think that that rumor is true. That he's staying at his ex-girlfriend's parents' house. 
but we we shall see. Yeah. Why would you leave a successful business, supposedly a successful business, to move to that state to start exactly. all over doing to find something. the love of your life and to get married? There's something. Well, he didn't move. He he didn't move to, to find the love of his life. He moved for it because he had no. He wanted to get away from it, uh, wherever he was and come someplace nope. different. Nope. No, nope. he said he moved to Tennessee because he his girlfriend. Oh, did you not see the story? His girlfriend that he was uh, talking to. Yeah, I know. Really I know about that. He wanted to get away from that. All right, we got away from that. Yeah, he wanted but to get away from that. He wanted to get away from that, but he wanted to find his wife, and that's why he moved to Tennessee. And it was convenient for him that his friend's parents lived there, so he went left Minnesota to go to Tennessee to find his wife, and he told Dominique, and it would just so happen, how great of a convenience that I got on Married at First Sight. It's a cl- he's cloud chasing, and she is too. And that's why I'm I'm gonna say this, and I'm not gonna I don't want to talk about Dominique and McKinley anymore. Y'all two can. I'm just gonna sit here and be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't think that marriage that marriage is gonna be that ain't even making it to decision day. That shit ain't making it to the honeymoon. Maybe they'll go on the honeymoon, but after the honeymoon, I bet you, as God is my witness, that marriage is gonna end. Well, we saw her carrying her boxes and that was from the apartment. So I'm thinking that's after the honeymoon. Well, Mm -hmm. yeah, but you know how they do with, you know. You know what I thought was funny? When Dominique's mother said to him, well, how does granny feel about you marrying a black woman? (laughs) Right. He's like, like, my parents are all cool. She said, well, how about granny? How about granny? She got offered $50,000. Huh? He got offered fifty thousand dollars. His mother said, "I'll give you, I will give you fifty grand not to do this." No, I didn't see that part. Oh, bitch, you missed it. After party. After party. After party. Yep. His mother offered him fifty thousand dollars not to marry, not to go through with it. It had nothing to do. Not to go through with it. Let's just let's just take that off the table. It had nothing to do with her race. Nothing to do with nothing. It had everything to do with I'll get I'm gonna give you fifty grand if you don't do this shit. Period. And he was like, Yeah, I thought about it. And now he something's fucked up about him. Something's fucked up about him. Well, I think it's maybe the family, something something's off with the family. Because the grandmother was I didn't like it it seemed kind of his mother was still kind of like Sh- little shady, like you know, I'm like I, the way he was talking to she was talking to him, and then the way she was talking about the whole situation, and even when she was meeting them, she just seems kind of like there's something, there's something wrong with the McKinley clan. Did you see the way his sister was looking at her? She was standing over the mother and just kind of looking at Dominique, and before she started talking, she was kind of like had that facial expression on her face. And I don't know, I couldn't read exactly what it is, but it was a strong reaction to being there. Um, I didn't, you know what, to be honest with you, I didn't see all that. I just saw that, I think the sister was standing up because they went to the, the, the bride and groom table and there was only two chairs mm-hmm. and it was Dominique and the mother and the sister had to stand up because nobody brought her a fucking chair. I just think that, they were not ready for this. I don't think it had anything to do with race, even though the last time we spoke and had the podcast, I was worried about that. Like, you can't put people together unless a conversation has been had. And the fact that Dominique is sitting at the table talking to his McKinley's mother and sister, like, you know, hey, I'm biracial. I don't want to have those conversations. But you have to. But you have you to, do. of course. You have to, of course. But the mother was like, the mother's reaction, I was watching it intently. The mother and the sister was like, that's not an issue for us. For oh, us. They thrust that conversation away quickly. 
But right. they have that conversation. Them, I think for them, the conversation was, I mean, they're con- not the conversation, but the concern for them was, what the fuck is he doing? I'm looking at their faces. That's all I'm saying. I don't think they have an issue with her being biracial. Mm. I just, I'm just like, mm, I don't think this is going to work. But let's talk about her mother and grandmother when they were talking about him. And they were like, he's really nice, but Jeffrey Dahmer was nice too. Well, that's the God given truth. It is the God given truth. But it, I mean, yeah, but everybody, but everybody is that. I mean, everyone can see. Seem uh, the whole thing about you know they seem nice. It's because I don't you still know. have to Everyone. have your antennas up because you just don't yeah, know. Yeah, I understand. Then don't then don't get married at first sight. Thank or you. Or don't promote it. It's if it's I if it's like part of the thing. Up if you married to somebody or dating somebody for six years. Look at that woman in Massachusetts. Her husband just. Right, I, I understand her. that, but uh, girl, <laughs> girl, that part. So it's just like that's just that's just part of life because you just you only know yourself and you only know yourself maybe ninety percent. You don't know what that other ten percent of you might do. So you just have to be cautious. And I, I didn't feel that there was anything wrong with what she said. It's true. He, yeah, he seems nice, but we'll see. Yeah, I just think that that whole dynamic with them two is just off and she's too young i thought it was awkward when after they got married i thought that that i was watching all when they got married the wedding ceremony i wasn't looking at them too i was looking at the families on each side and i'm like here we go here we go i just don't think that either one of them are genuine and i don't think that they signed up for the long haul to have a wedding a marriage forever and all that so i'm going to go on the side of that shit and we're going to make it to decision day of course we've seen the previews i've seen all that i don't think that's gonna work period end of story i don't think it's gonna work either i just think she's too young yeah it's not it's not looking good yeah it's it's not looking good all right so we have two more two more couples and we'll go through them really quick we'll go through them really quick Gina, Gina, and did you, did you Gina, see that one? Gina and Clint. Did you see the previews for that Lord, one? I, I saw see them previews, and Clint is a fucking dick. Oh, wait, really? Because I said, oh, yeah. Didn't I say something about him was shady too? And then I wrote here, I wrote, Clint is, oh, you can't see it. Clint is full of shit. When he was talking to, um, her friends and, and he, he, he talks he, yeah that all that and then when she was talking about her business and he was just like i know it was editing i know it was editing i know they was fucking yes. around with editing so i do understand that but again she's a hard worker he that hard. relate to that i i don't know where or how he gets his money but he he's not on her level at Never. all and I said, she, I said at the very beginning, he was not good enough for her. And I stand by that. So what happened in the preview? Tell me what happened in the preview. Hold on. Like I said, he's a trust fund baby. Mm-hmm. And the reason why, I'll, oh, this is all I'm going to say about that. The reason why he didn't want it, he was all red faced when she kept talking about her career and mm-hmm. her business is because how can you relate to someone like that when you ain't got shit. Not saying he doesn't have shit. No, he has shit. He just hasn't has worked. He just didn't work for it. He's a trust fund baby. And that's just going to come out. And that's why he kept looking at her like, he was looking at her like, I just want to have fun. And I want to do this. I want to sail my ships and do all this. Yeah, here we go. Um, when he said to her friends, homie, don't play that. I was like, fucking dude. He's not attractive to me at all. No, he's yeah. not attractive. That suit, that, yeah, that no, hair. I mean, he just needs to be groomed. He looks like, was it you that said he doesn't wash? He looks like that. He he, he needs to be groomed. Yeah, he doesn't wash on a regular. 
He's just dirty. But he, or, he's, I mean, he might wash, but he might be like that white man in that video that we just saw the other day that his wife just said. With no soap? With no soap. He uh, might just get in the shower and just let the water run on him. But man, you didn't know that before you got soap. married? You didn't smell Thank you. Before you got married, when you all were dating, you never smelled anything. Smelled that part. How are you? And then when he goes, when he says, he says, she goes, how do you wash your ass? He goes, it's water. Water. Every he question like, he said to him, he was like, water. I use water. And she kept digging into him and he's like, water. All right. Okay, okay, still dealt family. We just digress, but here we are. All right, back to Clint. Um Thank her work. That I like her me. too. I like her I too, like but I, I, I think Gina is all that. And she's beautiful. I must say, I think I said it in the last podcast. I think Gina is one of the most one of the best looking brides in married at first sight history. Period. Wow. Really? really? Wow. That's. I don't yeah. see that, but good. I'm glad she has a fan. Dude, all right. Yeah. Exactly. Graham, I am right. Everybody needs a fan. Um, I gotta go to Nicole and Chris. I love them as a couple. I think that they're the only ones that's gonna make it out of this. Oh wait! Before we get in that, I just gotta. I I, I was just gonna. I'm looking at my notes. Back to Chris, I mean, back to Gina and Clint. I know everybody saw this shit. Gina's fucking friend. At, wait, what's her name? Gina's friend, Lindsay, that literally cock blocked Clint at the reception. And she literally invaded his personal space and was all like, so I got questions. I got that, 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 that. I got that, 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 that. It was annoying to me. I'm not a fan of Clint, but... Gina's friend Lindsay, uh, out of pocket. How she? Uh, okay, I have to. I don't. It was that yeah, way. All, all the girlfriends like, were talking to him. She had her <laughs> three bridesmaids, and yeah. Lindsay was one of them. And the other two bridesmaids was just like mm, playing the position. Lindsay was like, "Here's Clint." She's like, "I have a question." But that's what she's supposed to do. Yeah, but nah, you ain't got to get up all in my personal space like that. Sorry. No, no, no I grant it, but I'm just saying that's what the, that's what their role is. Every wedding, every group, they had somebody act these crazy tough. I get that. Or something. I get that, and I know that. But this bitch took it too far. And if I was the spouse, married at first sight spouse, and your your boy or your girl comes up in my face like that, I'm going to be like, boom, personal distance. I don't, personal space. Back the fuck up. Because yeah. she was asking him questions and he's answering her and she's in his face like this and she's like, hmm? 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 I got another question. And she was all in his face. I didn't like that. Yeah. Ain't going to work. It's hey, going. Let's go to Chris and Chris and. Tell me what happened in the preview. Oh, girl! Oh, no, it's a lot of stuff. You. We're not going to tell you. Wait, oh, no. yeah. You have to wait for it. You have to wait for it. You got. You got. Gonna, you gotta watch it. Oh, there's there's to too to many things. It. There's too many things. There's too many small things. And you're like, oh, 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 oh. Yes. Uh, Clint. Yeah, Clint. And we don't know the background story. So what we're not going to do is get caught up in this bullshit that we've been caught up right, in right, they're gonna... for the years that we've been talking about this. It could be anything, but the, the preview of the honeymoon, it's not good for Clint and Gina. But I don't want to talk about it because Clint shows his whole ass, but I don't know the background story to that. So what I don't want to do is... Have a conversation about it, and then I didn't say have a conversation. I said, "Tell me one thing," because I already know he's an all, asshole. All, 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 I, all, all I can say is about Michaela. That the the one reason to watch the whole season is because when Michaela went and knocked over the foosball table and went in the room and slammed, ah, slammed the door, I was like, "I gotta watch <laughs> previews from now on." Huh? I right? I was like, "Oh, that's gonna happen." And, and how's it gonna happen? Remember Michaela when she did that crazy? Was that two seasons ago? The last season? Yeah. I don't remember the saying so many damn seasons two seasons ago. 
Uh, so that's why I was like, oh, what's going to happen? Yeah, like, if they're going to give it away, they can give it away. Well, they can't I'm give away too crazy, that. but Chris is crying. Chris is crying. Yes. And Nicole is crying. They have a yes. fight. They Chris and Nicole have some happen. kind of, where they he's, they're both crying. And then Clint, it. then they, they blast Clint. So some okay. of the other people, oh, Nicole, <laughs> Nicole goes, Nicole goes, oh, Clint, you know, he's full of shit that this, he's not attracted to Gina or something like that. And Clint's a piece of shit. I knew no, well, no. it was going to come wait. up. That Wait, 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 wait. I had a feeling, as, as much as you say that she's gorgeous or whatever, and she's a, she's she's attractive one, but I kept saying in my head, I don't think that he is going to be into her. I think he's probably into, like, skinny chicks and, you know, or well, whatever. Well, he says it in the preview. In the preview, he says, in the group, in the group, there are all the couples. And he goes, yeah, I, us- I, usually, I usually like athletic uh, thin athletic girls, yeah, and, yeah. and I was like, "There's athletic yeah. fit women." Gina is sitting right next to him, and that's next when to him. Nicole. They're all in the group thing, and he's like, "Well, normally I'm into like athletic, skinnier women, younger women." And Two old Gina is sitting there, next to his wife. and Gina's sitting next to him, right next to his wife, and Gina's sitting there like, yeah. mm. and then Nicole goes left, and she's like. Well, what the fuck? Like, I'm not like I'm big, or you know, I'm athletic, or you know, what not. Or natural, natural size women, natural, natural or something like that. Why is he gonna listen to that? So that's not gonna work, and hence why it leads to my thing, where last week, where the both of their asses live in the same building and couldn't understand why they didn't know each other or never met each other. Bitch, that's why. That should have been your key. Your clue right there. That well, you were not at you because you were you you in that building? building? Go ahead. What? Oh, didn't Chris pull up? There was like 2,000 people in that building? Doesn't yeah. matter. That's, that does matter. Hmm. Yeah, because you're not gonna. Really, you know. talk but really? does it you're matter? Even be on the does it matter to Clint? Does it? Does it matter to a person like Clint that is looking to make all these conquests? Trust when I tell you, if you live in a building with two thousand plus people, you gonna know who the bomb bitches are. Period. If you're a man, and out there, I don't know, but I... I'm sorry, not sorry. But she's I at work all the time too. That's a lot. She's at work all the time. Do. Yeah, I don't know yeah. about that. I don't, I don't know. You can be in a huge complex like that in a multi. I think there's two thousand units. I thought it was. Was that two thousand units? Yeah, yeah. Uh, two thousand people. It was. I don't think it's two thousand units. That's a lot of units. Come on now, pull it up. That's what I said. I well, mean, like I thought. What was the name of it again? I forgot, I forgot the name. Five oh five. 505 downtown oh, okay. now. Okay. So let's go to the la- let's go to the last one. Hmm. Oh yeah, Chris, Chris and Nicole. Chris and Nicole. I don't I don't see I don't have any issue. I saw them. They had decent talks with family. I, she's into it, he's into it. I think they're gonna work. I don't have anything to say about them. Other than I don't I, this is what married what first sight is meant for them to. I don't have anything to say about them, but they're not gonna make it either. No, I think why are they not gonna make it? I think I think that you know I like that they are you know the both of them like to talk and do all that shit. I just think that that shit's gonna get old real quick. He, um, he yeah, I, gonna, I don't see it. I think he's gonna show ass. her ass real quick, and he's gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm done." She's very that. empathetic. She, you know, I feel like for her, both of them are very empathetic people. She's desperate. She might be a little bit desperate. It's not a bad thing. She wants, she wants what she wants. I mean, she has a bad what, What's going on? I, I hear echo. Yeah, why is it echo? I don't see, I don't hear an echo. Y'all hear an echo? I do too. I do. Yeah. What's happening? What's going on? Is it me? Did you do I, don't I don't know. It's only it's when only we, we I, speak. I, I hear, I hear, yeah. like, I hear sirens in the background. 
Not me. No, Chris, when, we speak, when we speak, there's an echo. There's an echo. When you when speak, you there's, no there's no echo. You me? speak, Tanya. Hi. Hello. Did you just get a setting on your phone? Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't touch anything. anything. I haven't touched anything. What's going on? Something got delayed on that thing. All right, well, I guess we can wrap it up. Wait a second, is your, is your, is your, turn your mute, mute your thing and then come back on. Mute my you mute real quick and then come back on. Okay, hold on. Let me just, let, hold on. Just mute, just mute it. Just mute. I got to mute. Okay, where am I going? Where's my mute? Where's my mute? Okay, I muted. Can you, can hear, you hear us? I can yeah, hear see, you. there's no mute. There's no, there's no more yeah. echo anymore. It's your, it's your something on yours. Hi. Hi. I'm mean, going hear you. Hi. It's Hi. fine now. It's fine now. It's done. Yeah. I'm over here in Beirut. You hear all this? This is going on. It's Friday night. <laughs> all, I hear is, all I hear is sirens. Y'all over there. You, you, you legit over there in Beirut. Let me finish up with her. Go ahead. The reason yeah. why I think that they will make it. Both of them are very empathetic. And I know you see her as being desperate, but. She's been in relationships where, yeah, she probably taken advantage of. And she's acknowledging, like, I mean, like, even like their gifts, she needs somebody who is as thoughtful as he is. But on the uh, on the flip side of that, she's not gonna take advantage of that. You know, she she recognizes how like you know thoughtful and sympathetic he is, but I don't think that she will take advantage of that because she wants to be for him what he is to her is something that she hasn't had. I don't I don't see her or him as 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 not really trying to make this work. I agree with you that I think that they will try to do their best to make it work. I just don't think it's going to work. Okay. I I think it can work. I think it, she's going to eat him up. We know that. We know that much. She's going to get tired and bored of him being so nice. She's already said, oh, he's so nice accommodating. He's already so accommodating. She, she, her quote was, uh, uh, he's been so nice to me and accommodated me so much. I just want to let him know that he's appreciated because he sacrifices himself so much. She's going to get tired of that. She's used but to having someone be selfish. She doesn't, she doesn't need that from him as well. She said in that same um, sentence that- she, she does. She, you think she does? Because she's yeah. never yeah, she needs a little, She needs a little resistance. That well, she needs. She yeah. needs a little resistance. Yep. She needs. I, she I needs agree. a little I resistance. She does, but at the same same breath, she's never had anybody really treat her well in relationships. And I think. Yeah. She's. I think she's. Um. What is it? not? Um. I think she's relationship mature enough to understand that she has to give just as much as she takes from him. I think she's I, I think she's ready. I think she's mentally fit to make the the um but I don't think yeah. she's naturally she's she thinks she is and she not, I think she I think wrong. she thinks she is and that she should be but the bottom line is it's not gonna be she's not gonna she's gonna eat him she needs a resistance from him. He has no backbone whatsoever. He can be nice, but he's got to have some backbone. Or got to be. He's just so like whatever you want, whatever you want, whatever. You, and she's gonna get bored of that real quick. But she, she is a queen. He might stop that eventually. I mean, he he might be very accommodating in the very beginning. No, he's not gonna. But he seems that kind. He seems that kind of way. And she she seems like she would want certain things. Like, no, I want to do this. He's like, okay, well, we'll do that. I'm I can see him acquiescing a lot. To stop your negative juju on my on my couple. This is my couple. Well, I think they're, I think they're gonna make it. I think they're gonna make it. They're but not. I'm just thinking the reality. Tanya, of Tanya, shut up about my couple. I'm sprinkling all that couple. juju on your couple's baby. You this, and Chris. This is my, I'm right, by, I'm right, by, by the way, none of these five couples are gonna make it. Period. Five hundred five high rise. 350 residences. 
Okay. So they know we get two thousand. Where do we get two thousand? Huh? Where do we get people? Yeah, where do we, where do we get 2, yeah, I don't know. So this would uh, be about. Um, but even three hundred and fifty is a lot. Six, fifth, hundred, five hundred people. Yeah. And a yeah, forty-five it's not, it's, intense. it's not a lot if you've lived there for a minute. You know the people. You come and go. We've seen each other on the elevator. I'm sure he's seen her like she said. I'm pretty sure we saw each other in the elevator. And he's probably like, yeah, I saw your ass on the elevator and you look like ass. And she was probably like, yeah, I saw you on the elevator and you look like old ball. Well, she said, and why haven't was- I seen you at the pool? And he's like, I'm usually at the marina. So he doesn't go to the pool. So they can miss each other. Anyway, that's how much. Yeah, she's working all the time, too. That ain't going to work. That is not. None of these couples are going to work, period, in the story. So I still have hope for Chris Chris and Nicole. I know they're going to work. I got money on it. I I hope someone's got to work. You got to give someone some kind of credit. Give them some kind of. Nicole is too out there she is she loves this nice guy thing right now and he's doing everything for her and holding her hand and kissing her in the mouth and doing all that shit that shit's gonna get old real quick Do you all think and have you sex? can see she was she was trying to get down she was trying to get down that, that, I was like, that, you, you all think they had sex because i'm like she's like no what no you i think he said no i off? think he said no I don't think any yeah, of the couples had sex on, 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 on wedding night, but I'm I'm telling you next week, honeymoon and the week after that, because we already know Lifetime likes to play this shit out. So next week, we're going to get like all the fucking, the, the parents, next week is going to be the parent brunch, the family brunches, what? and then at the end, and at the end, like the last five fucking three minutes, it's going to be Oh, let's go. We're at the airport now. We're going to Jamaica because I saw the. Oh, flag. you saw what? You yeah, saw that what's gonna happen? I saw that shit with Shaquille. 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 Oh, did you see that, Shaquille? No. What so Shaquille goes oh, to Kri- Kirsten. Shaquille goes to Kirsten. Oh yeah, I have a conference I have to go to for my school, so we're not going to Jamaica tomorrow. You're coming with me to. Richmond or some crazy some Somewhere place in like Houston in Virginia. We'd be out of Richmond and then we're gonna go to Jamaica. She's like I'm gonna cut it. Like, I like I like his work. About that. I liked everything about that because he exposed his alpha male and that shit got me all excited because he was like, We're supposed to leave tomorrow for our honeymoon. And yeah, I got a research conference that I have to present to, and you're coming with me as my wife. I do not. And she was like, okay. And I was like, oh, she said, okay. She was like, she had no choice. She had no choice. I think, I I think the clip that they showed, he was telling her and she was like, oh shit. Like, oh, for real? But we'll see next week. But I was like, yes, Hercules, Hercules. I want to suck your dick. Hey. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, good for him. Like I said, I never we'll thought he, I, at the beginning, I didn't think he was a pushover. I didn't no. think that I don't think so either. For her either. So good for him. I thought he I thought he had overly gay tendencies, but I never pegged him for a pushover. I think that this is a man I that knows what he wants. He knows what he's doing. He has his agenda and he's going there. And I like, I like me some Shaq. I don't like the whole mm, Justin, I want to take you down and take your God off. I don't like that shit. I don't, I mm. think just, I think that weddings from here on in should just exclude the whole bouquet toss and the whole garner toss. Let's get rid of that. But that's just me. Anyway, so we've covered everybody. So, um, Chris. You got anything yes. for us before we before we log off? You got anything uh, CSI on? Vegas. CSI Vegas will be airing February second on CBS. Yeah, I was mistaken. I anything thought it would be uh, last night, but it's February second now. Okay, that's because the eleventh episode aired last week, so I figured the twelfth would be this week, but it's actually in two weeks. I don't know what's going on with CBS. 
in the meantime, okay, but so that's we're what that, that's going what to possibly have a watch party if it happens. Um, we're possibly going to get fun. a watch party together and talk about it live stream while we're watching. Um, Chris, anything well, that would be fun. <laughs> Chris, be anything, else you wanna, anything else you want to nope. bring up? Nope. Okay. Nope. Uh, Shahida. Oh. Uh, the Upshaw's third season, I'm in two episodes of the third season, starts February 16th. On Netflix, yay! On Netflix, yes. Yeah. Anything you got going on that you want to talk about? Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> you writing any books? Because I know you was a writing ass bitch. You got any, you got any scripts? That's, that's, that's my, my goal. My ass ain't been doing shit. But well, let's it has been a good month for me so mm -hmm. far. I've been partying though, but um, I got to get my shit together. Get my shit together. But no, I ain't, I'm not doing get nothing. Shit together. <laughs> get shit together. My hand is gone. If you notice, those pills what? kicked in. You what? Good. Your headache is gone. Your headache. As for me, since nobody asked what I was doing, um, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna call you both. I'm gonna call you both out because um, June. I'm thinking. I've texted you both about this, so I'm putting. I'm keeping it on on schedule. On, on I told you, I cannot. Oh. I cannot. I can't I decide can't anything. Come to, on. Are we I, going to the Netherlands in June to go see the weekend? I, I can't. I don't know what I'm doing next week. No, please. I already said I cannot. You said you can't. I have I have I have two big trips this summer. Fine. And one is Ghana that I invited you and Chris to come to. When are you going to Ghana? And is it booked? Well, we can talk about this all, all after our show know, is over. Yeah. That's my mama's business. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so let me go. Do, 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 do. Thank you, everybody. Don't forget, next week, it, uh, February the second, is Chris on. That, it's not next week. Yes, I. Two weeks. Vegas. Two weeks, girl. Two Don't weeks. Play me. Two weeks. Oh yeah. February second. Oh, oh yeah. February second. Yeah. Two weeks, and we will possibly live stream, but we'll let y'all know. No, but, definitely uh, live stream. Love you guys. Fun. And do, do 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 do. Oh wait, I gotta get out of this here. Boom. Do, 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 do. Hey. You have the Amanda Seal shirt on, huh? 